Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in a different, slightly noisier setting um, because I'm in the mountains and I figured while out here, might as well film some content. Um, sorry, we don't have any mountain views for you guys, but you guys can see the valley. I call it the Ponderosa. So we'll be coming from you, coming to you from the Ponderosa today. Um, let's see. And me being the idiot that I am, I deleted questions. Okay. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about what was my expectation of sorority life prior to joining and has that changed over the years? And this question came from the prompt that I put on Instagram for you guys to ask me any question and I would answer. So that's where we're coming from today. Sorry the lighting, like I said, isn't the best because um, I'm filming outside. Maybe I can turn around. We'll try it for the next video. So... Um, what was the question again? <laughs> what was my expectation of sorority life prior to joining and has it changed over the years? Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, you've seen plenty of my Sigma love story videos, but when I joined my organization in 2012, there wasn't anyone in my family that was Greek. So a lot of my information and my perspectives came from what I saw in movies and a little bit of what I saw while I was a student. Uh, as far as my expectations, I expected it to be a lot of work. I expected to have to deal with different personalities and deal with different people. I have two sisters already, so dealing with people wasn't an issue for me, and I also come from a big family. But um, I didn't expect it to turn out the way that it did. I had no idea that me being in a sorority with this long would create the platform that I now have for sorority life. So I didn't expect that. But it met, it met my expectations as far as me connecting with people and having a different resource, I guess, versus the resources that I already had. One of the things you'll learn about being in an organization is that, is that it does open a lot of doors for you. So with me being in my sorority, I've met so many people that are similar as far as like goals and what they want to do with themselves. Being with powerful women is helpful. Sorry, my dog is whining. Come here. It's not like what it is in the movies, like Stump the Yard and um, School Days kind of have the idea of what it is, but it's not exactly that. And it's going to change, like I've told people so many times, it changes based off of your experience and it changes based off of where you are and what level, like undergrad versus graduate. Those things are contributing factors as far as it meeting your expectations. You can't want to join in graduate chapter thinking that it's going to be the same as undergrad because it's not. In undergrad, the social life is totally different than what it would be if you were in graduate because graduate, you're dealing with adults, you're dealing with people who are working, people who already obtained their degrees. It's a different environment. So it meeting my expectations as far as undergrad, it did. I personally wish I had done a little more because I think that I could have had more of a social life than I had. Um, I was very academically driven, so I did do some social things, but there could have been like more like social events that I could have attended, more so parties, uh, that I just wasn't interested in in undergrad, so I didn't take full opportunity to partake in those. I did some parties, but not like that, Like, and I don't recommend doing that anyways, but just having the time to have the full Greek experience. Um, has it changed? Not really. It's been very enlightening. It's It gets better and better for me every year because you get involved in different things and you do different things. Like I never thought in undergrad that I would be a charter member and charter a whole new chapter in a whole new area and touch a whole new base of people. Never thought I was going to do that. Um, so I didn't have that expectation, but that was something that definitely happened in Centennial year at that too. So that was something that was pretty amazing, becoming a charter member. Well, like the year to Centennial. Um, so yeah, I would encourage anyone who's interested in joining an organization to do your research. It's something that I will constantly recommend to people when they're interested in joining an organization. Do your research on the organization and the chapter. Know what your values are prior to joining an organization or attempting to join because if you're just trying to join based off of hearsay or what other people are telling you, then you're not actually doing the research for yourself. There have been a lot of talks, which I'll include 
maybe in another video um, about when people want to join an organization and then change their mind. There's been some talks about that on social media. And me personally, you guys have seen my thoughts if you've seen my Instagram. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, and I do have another video of that on my channel, but if you do want to know more about wanting to join an organization and changing your mind, whether it be something that you wanted in undergrad and then changing your mind when you graduate because you didn't do it in undergrad, let me know. Happy to create that com uh, content for you guys. Feel free to give me a thumbs up for this video if you want to see more of that content. 20 likes or more, I will do that. Um, or really I should say 50. I think 20 is a little low. I have enough people watching me to where I can have at least 50 to 100 likes on a video for me to create more content so y'all do that for me if you want more content thumbs up this video um so yeah those are my thoughts as far as expectations and sorority life so i hope that you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in my next video bye